to the Anita Hari Academy video blog where we focus on the essential tips and tricks and strategies for Pilates teachers and business owners in order for their businesses to thrive. In this particular video, we're going to be showing you a particular strategy that I learned from my guru and teacher, Tony Robbins. And this has been a very, very valuable lesson for me. And I want to share it with you to help you improve your businesses and improve the way that you live your life as teachers. So I'm going to be showing you three master steps on how you can take control of your time, your life and your business as I've been learning from Tony Robbins. And this method is called the rapid planning method. And I'm going to be delving right into it after I give you a quick introduction about myself. So I'm Anita Hori. I am second generation Pilates teacher and master trainer. I have a teacher training school and I also am a business coach for those thriving Pilates instructors and business owners who want to make a complete difference in the way that they teach and the way that they live their life. And guys, I'm here to serve you. As Pilates teachers, we are always trying to juggle our tasks and juggle our life and splitting it between teaching, between running our own businesses and having our own personal lives. So with the rapid planning method, what we're going to do is teach you these strategies to streamline your priorities, focus your energy and achieve your goals with purpose. How does that sound? So if you're super excited about this already, you're going to say to me, okay, so what am I going to do? What do I do? So often we are so bombarded with tasks and pressures that they are feeling as overwhelmed and unsure of how we, we go about our life. And this I find happens so much to Pilates teachers who start coming into the industry with purely because they have such a big passion in, of Pilates and they want to share what they know with the community around them and then they delve into the business life and they start getting super overwhelmed with all the experiences that they have to handle. You know, running a business is very different just to, to teaching Pilates. So you have to have the tools that are going to help you prioritize and strategize and really streamline the processes to have a successful business and not to, not to get overwhelmed, not to get burnt out, right? So just a quick tip to help you as part of this planning method, the rapid planning method, is ask yourself, what do I need to do? So instead of dwelling on the problem and trying to figure out, my goodness, you know, I can't deal with this, this is too much for me, the rapid planning method, what it does is it asks you to first, first of all, just ask yourself that question of what do I need to do? How am I going to solve this problem? What do I need to do to be able to solve this problem? So there's a saying that goes, everything is figure outable. So if you know that there is a solution to every problem, then you are starting your day and your mindset already in advance and in a more positive attitude because you know that there is going to be a solution. And rather than focusing on the problem, you are focusing on how to find the solution. So this change of perspective is really going to help you start to take the steps required to be able to find the right solution for whatever issue that you are facing on the day. It ignites clarity and purpose and helps you take your steps to more achievable goals, right? It provides clarity and purpose and it helps guide you to take more achievable steps. Remember, where your focus goes, energy flows. So wherever you want to focus your attention, that's where you're going to be more productive. So if you're focusing on the problem, you're not going to be productive. If you focus on finding a solution, then you are going to be taking those simple steps, maybe baby steps initially, to work towards achieving your goal and to finding your solution. And then essentially your result becomes your target. So that would be a beacon towards your actions. The next step of the rapid planning method, which is very important, is to find your drive in the sense, in saying, what is the purpose of this task? What is the purpose of me doing this? What is my drive 
for me to do this? Why am I doing this, right? So what do I have to do is fine, but why am I doing this? So the first step was what do I have to do? What solutions do I need to find to this task? And why am I doing this? So understanding your why is paramount, absolutely important. What is the purpose behind achieving your goals? What is the final outcome of this? Do you have enough fuel to sustain your energy? Do you have enough drive to sustain you to achieve this goal? So say, for example, you want to um, venture into the online world. So you want to be giving online courses and online sessions to your clients, or maybe you want to start a membership program where you start putting um, videos online for your clients and you just don't know where to start. So rather than focusing on the problem of, oh my God, I don't know what to do. I have no idea what videos to do. And then you're really looking at your problem. You will start looking at what do I have to do? That was your first step. Yeah. What do I need to do to do this? Okay. Maybe I need to start recording myself. That's the first thing. Yeah. And then the next step is the drive. How driven are you to be giving these videos online, to be putting this um, amount of content online for your clients to be able to follow. And if you think, well, okay, that's a good idea, but maybe I'll do that one time. Maybe I won't. I'm not really sure. If that is so doubtful in your head, that's not going to happen. You have to have that drive within you, that purpose within you to say, you know what, I really am enthusiastic about this. This is going to happen and I'm going to take steps. And whether or not the steps are super simple and super small or they're huge, gigantic steps and they're massive action, it doesn't matter at this stage because what's important is that you keep moving forward. You have to uncover your deeper motivations as to why you want to do this. Um, if you're thinking that there isn't enough motive for you to do this, then it, whatever your plan is, whatever your project is, whatever your task is, it's not going to happen, or at least it's not going to happen as efficiently as it would be if you had put the drive into it and also the emotional awareness and achievement that it's going to give you. So say, for example, I go back to the same exercise or the same example of um, putting your content online and you have got this whole wall of fear around you about not being able to do videos. You freeze when it comes to in front, you, you come to do exercises in front of a camera or you just don't know where the setup is or you think that it's not going to be perfect. No, it's not going to be looking good. You're maybe the audio isn't good. It doesn't matter if you're so driven because what this is going to mean is that it's going to give you that freedom to be able to earn an income while you're not actually teaching in your studio. Maybe you have your child to look after. Maybe you have a family to bring up. Maybe you have elderly parents you need to see to. Maybe you want to be traveling and you don't want to be committing to staying in one studio. If your drive is so strong, if the reason to do this is so powerful, you are going to find the way. So determine what the drive is. If your ultimate drive is that other reason that I just mentioned, rather than just, oh, I fancy putting some videos online, then you are going to be more likely to get what you've asked for, to take action and to actually make it happen. And that plan that's going to be part of your planning method that's going to help you take more action and it brings me to the next point actually and that is called the massive action plan and i want you to see this right into your screens because this is so so important so what are the necessary activities that you need to take to have this massive action plan in place okay so you've determined what you need to do. The first thing is to stop thinking about your problems and stop thinking about the possibilities. The next thing is what is your drive? What is driving you to do this? And then the third thing is take your action. Take your action according to your plan. So it's okay to have it, but now start doing it. So with your target and purpose in mind, you can now start to take this massive action plan and really do not let 
any distractions in your life stop you. Do not let anything, don't let phones, don't let people, don't let appointments, don't let invitations to social events, do not let anything stop you because if that is going to stop you, it's going to put a hurdle in your, in your game and then you're going to be so annoyed with yourself for not completing or maybe for procrastinating and for not taking action soon enough. And you know that if you take massive action, what you're going to do is you're going to get there faster. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just start. That's the most important thing. Now, how do you start? Break your tasks down. Break them down to chunkable pieces of action. With This is a term that Tony Robbins uses as chunking. Okay, so you chunk the tasks together. So how do we do this? By chunking down the tasks, make sure that you group your tasks with the same focus, with the same value together. So for example, if your tasks include getting yourself ready to start preparing your videos, having the right setting, having the right lighting, figuring out what your microphone um, is going to look like, where you're going to be placing it, and the time that you've allocated, you have to figure out all the these things to be able to even start recording your first video. So the first thing that I would suggest you do is like, what is the goal for me today? So today I want to be able to just focus on having the right equipment. So chunk down those tasks. So make sure today I'm going to make sure I buy my right audio equipment, buy the right camera or have the right camera, make sure I've got it, I've got the right lighting and focus on that. That's my today's focus. Then maybe tomorrow's focus or next week's focus is going to be my gear. I feel maybe more comfortable wearing these kind of clothes in front of the camera. Maybe the mat that I'm using, it has to be right. Um, how about my hair? What do I, what do I want to do with this? If you're such a perfectionist, right? How do I do my hair? So it's all planned. It's part of the process. So then by the time that you come to actually take the action, which would be on your third day or fourth day, whatever it might be, you're ready. You don't get there in front and you say, oh, uh, oh I haven't got the right lighting. Right. No, you're ready. You've chunked it down. You've got it right to a T. Now you're ready to take action. And when you start taking the video, don't start by taking the video and then seeing that you've made a mistake and you're going to start again. No, don't worry about it. There are people called video editors for that. You don't have to worry about that. Start, continue, and then you send it over to the right people to be able to make it look superb. If you feel like you really want to tart it up and make it look super beautiful for your community to see, but you don't even need to be doing that. What I want to share with you now is what steps will you need to take to really supercharge your journey? So I go back to what Tony taught me about the seven principles of power to help us really push through our action plan. The first principle here is all about our language. What kind of language you use is going to really supercharge you to get through your tasks. So if you are one who likes to procrastinate and also uses language like, I'm not quite sure whether I'll be able to do this or hopefully I'll be able to get this done or things like maybe it will work, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. These kind of works, words are not going to help you achieve the success that you want. So change those words by things like, I'm definitely aware and sure that this is going to happen. They're going to evoke passion. So things like, I'm so excited about doing this. I know this is going to work. I'm sure that I'm going to change so many people's lives around. And that's showing that you are passionate about what you want to do and that you have confidence in the fact that it's going to happen. And not only would this create clarity, but it's also going to fuel your drive for success. And you can see that vision already before it's happening. So changing the language is very important. The second principle is all about being results focused. So focus on where you want to be and that you're actually going to achieve it. So shifting your mindset in just steps focus. So focusing on what we'd like to do or focusing on how you want to change your life rather than saying, 
this is what I'm going to be doing and I'm going to be doing this on this particular time. Being very, very results focused is going to shift your mindset and it's also going to help you get closer to your goal much, much quicker. So stay laser focused on your goals and let them guide you through your plans of action and you will get there. The third principle is all about purpose. I did a course with Dean Graziosi, who was also uh, a fellow colleague of Tony Robbins, a fantastic guy, really nice guy, who taught us about what is your ultimate why. You know, I mentioned about doing online courses. I use that as an example, but let's say, let's stick to this example and say, I want to do online courses because I want to be able to have more freedom. And what does that freedom give you guys? So that maybe is not enough a why for you to take this action. Does that freedom give you more time for your family? Okay, so what does that time for your family give you? It doesn't give you a better relationship. And what does that give you? Maybe if you really delve deep into this, you'll discover that what you really want out of this is to create a safety net for your family. Maybe you want to create some kind of legacy for your family and for your children and to make sure that they don't have to worry about struggling, uh, struggling through life and maybe the struggles that you've had yourself as a person. So delving really deep into your why is going to help you get to your goal much, much quicker. And there's specific exercises that you can do. Again, if you did work with me, I will go through all of this through the action plans that we have to achieve any particular goal, any particular project, whether it's regarding your personal life or it is to do with your business. Really, the principles are the same. So think about it. What is your real why? The fourth principle is all about mapping. So you really have to map out your path to success and be aware that maybe your path may change through the course of time. So don't be super rigid about saying that you're going to be able to achieve the goal within three months and then see that maybe you've got hurdles or life is happening to you and you get super frustrated because it's not working out to plan. Be a little bit more flexible with that and knowing that this is life. This is what happens. You know, things happen, plans change, circumstances change, and it's okay as long as you keep adjusting your course of direction to get you to your course. So you might find that you've started off planning X amount of hours per week to achieve your goal, to achieve the task, and then you see that perhaps you've now got a personal commitment that you have to see to, and that's going to reduce your time. So how can you change that course to see that you are still on track. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean that maybe you've reduced your time onto your action plan and it's not going to happen. It might happen a little bit longer. It might take a bit longer to happen. Or how can I find more time to to dedicate to this project so that it does happen in the time frame that I want to achieve it? Now, if this is going to stress you out even more, then I would really recommend that you do not dedicate more time to it and more focus and energy because it's going to stress you out. But if you do this lovingly and then you say, well, actually, this is something that I want because my why, my purpose is there and I really want to focus on this. So this is my drive to make it happen. So if life happens to you, all you need to do is just change direction on a few things, tweak a few things in your process and keep moving forward. And that's the most important thing. The next principle is all about chunking. Now, I briefly spoke about chunking earlier, and this is very much about setting your goals and prioritizing your goals into manageable tasks. So instead of seeing your whole project as a whole being overwhelming and feeling that perhaps you're unable to do this, if you chunk it down to a set of priorities that are connected, that are associated to each other, And then once you complete those priorities, so you're chunking them together and you complete them, you're going to have this amazing sense of achievement. So you're getting your, you're taking yourself a step closer towards your goal. Now, knowing that you are chunking them together and breaking your priorities down and group them together, so then you are a lot more efficient in your process. 
you're going to not only manage your project better, but you're also going to continue working through that amazing work-life balance. So you're not overexerting yourself and getting that project completed because then something that maybe has started off as a passion that you have or a giving you that reason why you should do it because you so are adamant that you want a better quality of life ends up having the opposite effect on you and you end up getting burnt out, getting stressed out, maybe getting irritated with your family, maybe feeling overwhelmed with it again. So having that prioritization of tasks and chunking your tasks down, completing each stage and celebrating every task or every chunk of tasks that you have completed, like every stage, you know, think of it like um, a, a, a project that's going to happen in stages. So your priorities will be, they'll be chunked down to one stage first and then another stage and another stage. And once you complete a stage, you celebrate it, you know that you're getting a step closer. It's going to help you create that sense of achievement and also give you that sense of trajectory and you feel more relaxed about it. And of course, your personal life will thrive with that. So you're balancing each aspect of this project and each aspect of your life with nurture and with care. The sixth principle is all about staying focused and being aware on turning your dreams into reality. So your focus is on having this big idea that initially started as a seedling in your head, this maybe prospects of um, changing your life around by adding this particular project in your life or changing the way that you work and this was a dream this was something that you've had and you've always desired and all of a sudden you're making it happen so actually being aware of this very important principle that you are making your dreams come true and that you are seeing through to your commitments to make this project happen and this happened to me over and over again whenever i did huge projects this was one principle that I kept in mind and it was all about changing my dreams, turning them into reality. And it happened at every stage, whenever I felt immense growth, this really truly happened. So stay focused on it and say, and celebrate it, as I said earlier, celebrate the fact that every step that you're taking is that you are making your dreams come true. You are changing your dreams into real life. You're experiencing it and live it and start to live it way before it happens because then it's going to speed up your process big time. And the seventh and final principle, and this is really, really important, and I've done several videos about this, but I'm going to talk about the hour of power again. And it's so important that you dedicate yourself to an hour of uninterrupted and constructed work specific to this particular project. So every single day you want to do something that is going to get you a step closer to your goals. So if you have this hour of power and you know that you have absolutely no interruption in your daily life, no phones, no calls, no family, no work, no teaching, no meetings, no nothing, then you know that you are taking that step further. Now, you might turn around to me and say, I can't, there's too much to do, you know, I, I, my life is already super full. I have got so much to do, there's so much on my plate, my family, my kids, my business, my, my personal life, I just can't fit another hour in. So what I'd say to you there is, ask yourself, what time do you wake up in the morning? How early do you get up and how much do you prioritize yourself? Is this really what you want to do? Is this that dream that you want to achieve? Is this worth waking up another hour early in the morning and just focus 1000% on this specific task? Maybe you get to achieve a lot more in this hour where everybody else is asleep. You know, the biggest achievers in life and, and you can talk about, I can think of, 
the most influential people in the world, all of them wake up way before the rest of the world wakes up. They're already achieving stuff way before the rest of the world wakes up. So changing that mental attitude and making sure you have the hour of power and would regardless of whatever time it is in your day, as long as you dedicate yourself that time and make sure that you are focused on this project and keep giving it the dedication that it needs to come true. So with these principles in mind, you are fully equipped to take up your challenges, seize opportunities, and really, really change your life around. Guys, these principles are not just relevant to your business life. They're very, very relevant also to your personal life. So if you have a personal project, it's the same thing. You focus on it. You just make sure that you are not overwhelming yourself with many different projects, but these are very relevant and effective tools to help you turn your life around from your business life to your personal life. Guys, I hope you liked this video and I hope it has been helpful for you. It really has been for me, these principles and actually understanding the rapid planning method has been exponentially transformative for me. They are the words that come to my head right now and I truly hope that they will be expansion exponentially transformative to yourselves and I'd love you to reach out to me if you've got any comments, if you've got any queries, if you want help with getting this rapid planning method set up in your own personal life reach out to me. I can have a free discovery call with you. We can chat for an hour and I'll really dedicate my time to finding out how I can be of service to you. If you like the video, guys, do hit the like and subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified every time I upload a video online. Until my next video, guys, goodbye for now.